Okay, well, welcome back, everyone. Now on to lightning talks. First up, we have Luca Musi. Hi. Hello, everyone. I'm Luca. I'm the author of the user account packages. And I'll give you a brief presentation about what's going on about the refactoring I'm doing to get to version 2. So who knows the user account packages? Raise your hands. Wow, good. And who's using it? Not bad. So you already know probably where to find the packages. It's a media organization. You can go on GitHub or on Atmosphere. And I've set up a Trello board to try to track what's going on for version 2, which I hope to be able to, to follow myself, because I don't have that much time at the moment. And below you see the 10 packages actually published on the Atmosphere. Uh, as you might know, it's a suite of packages providing um, templates for login, logout, registering, and whatsoever, so user accounts managing, management. Sorry. And um, the aim is to get uh, pre-built in place for more or less uh, all CSS framework we have out there, and have it very easy to configure and to customize it, changing more or less templates, uh, text, and whatsoever. The idea when I wrote it was to keep the logic separated from the templates, because the logic is always the same, and it's actually just wrapping the accounts API method provides. And um, so I ended up keeping the, the two aspects separated and write templates for the different front-end frameworks. Uh, the most used are Bootstrap, uh, Semantic UI, and, and so on. There are more or less eight at the moment, plus a wrapper to animate the templates with uh, Famous, actually using uh, Famous Views by Geddy Cohen. So what you get is uh, one single template, basically. It's two, actually. The sign on button you can put on an F bar. And the main template, which is uh, 80 form and will be UA form in version 2, has a number of different states. And it, use, it uses um, Blaze reactivity to display the, the parts which are needed based on the current state. So for example, you can go to sign in, put your password, then realize that you didn't register yet, change the state, and you, you're going to keep the password inside the input element. But there's no uh, session variable keeping the password. It's just the very same piece of the template which Blaze kept displayed. Then there's support for inter internationalization, different languages, and it's all reactive. So you can have your user select the current language and see the templates changing languages. And uh, it's uh, easily configurable. I'm sorry, it's a bit small here. But uh, just to give you some example, you can have the labels or not. You can display placeholder. You can put in, oh sorry, this is on the sign in, more stuff, and uh, that's it. So, what's going on for version 2? I'm trying to find some time to refactor everything, to, excuse me, to sweep uh, all the issues that have been raised so far, which is basically having independent templates to be shown on the same page and to be able to have a different UI framework uh, when you're developing an application both for the desktop and the, and the mobile. Um, then the hierarch hierarchical architecture I'm going to, to use will have a number of plugin packages to provide different kind of routing, for example, iron routing or flow routing, different kind of internationalization. So I'm trying to raise the abstraction layer. And finally, a very quick demo. This is what I'm using right now to test the uh, progress. So you have different templates, which can have their own state. We are seeing here semantic UI and bootstrap at the same time. 
because we have skins which are loaded dynamically, and that I'm also keeping track of the instances you have, and you can have uh, errors or messages on one single template. That's it, and thank you for your time, and if you have questions, I'll take it. Any questions? That's All right, it. thank you. Thank you again.